Hello and welcome to this week's live. You'll be able to see it is titled, You Cannot Lead From Behind. Now let's have a quick deep dive into what does this mean and how can you move forward this week and into your future with this knowing. So what do I mean by you cannot lead from behind? So many of us try to lead, whether it's our kids, whether it's people in the workplace, um, it might be spouse, it might be an opportunity. And we try to sometimes like tiptoe, hoping that it will just gain momentum itself. But no matter what area of your life you're looking at, if you are wanting to be a leader, i.e. a parent, someone who might be looking for a promotion or success in either business or in particular, but also your career in health when it comes to yourself and your family, let's say. Like you need to be leading by example. You need to be in the front doing it yourself for anyone to be able to lead. And I mean, I work with a lot of business owners, coaches, um, people who are in the process of developing their own business. And this is something that comes up so often. It's that thing of, I want to do this. This is my passion. It feels like it's my purpose, but I don't like to be seen on social media or I don't like doing the videos. I don't like to send um, an email because what if I say something wrong? Or I want my kids to want to go back to school, but I'm nervous about the coronavirus. I want my kids to be happy, but I'm stressed about what might happen. They are going to be bouncing off you. If we want to, if you want to see change, if you want to be like impacting anything in your life, you must be at the front. Now, this does not mean that you have to be oozing confidence and have to be, have to know everything, the ins and outs and be this big natural extroverted leader. Not at all. (laughs) I always say I personally am an introverted extrovert. (laughs) I Yeah, I'm not even going to go into that now. But to be a leader, you have to be leading by example is the key message here. So I remember there's a very quick story for this one. I remember going to this like haunted house. You know, those haunted houses where you walk through and it's like an experience. You've got Freddy Krueger jumping out at you. The exorcist on the bed. It was in Blackpool. I must have been like early teens, probably 12, maybe 13. And I went with some family, (laughs) we should be laughing right now. And everyone, the adults even, as soon as we got there, the guy who was like letting us through was like acting. He had this stern face and any time he looked at you, he'd like shake his head. He was basically putting fear into us. So when we all walked through, I was the youngest, followed by someone else. And as we walked through, the adults were pooping their pants and refusing to go through. Now, what did that put into us? It's not safe. Fear. If they're not going to do it, I'm certainly not going to do it. And I remember being pushed from behind to go to the front. What was the first thing that I did? I dug my heels in and I didn't want to go. The I can feel it now. The fear was so intense because the people that I felt kind of would be leaders, they did not want to go forth. So have a think, is there anything in your life, whether it's in your career, whether it's kids, especially with so much pressure being put on them in schools, going back, trying to get into this routine, we have to be saying, do you know what? It's different, but change is good for us. We're just going to embrace it. Everything's going to be okay. Like, can you imagine the energy that will follow that rather than they're going to be hearing everything rather than, oh my God, can you believe that that teacher hasn't done this? Or can you believe that the government's doing this? Can you believe? 
they're going to be picking up on all of this. If we're in the workplace saying the calls need to be done or in your business, this kind of needs to get done, but you're sat on your phone, they're not going to be doing it. We need to be leading from the front in every area of our life. This is one of the aspects of awakening your warrior. This is what I mean when I talk about Awaken Your Warrior. There's so many different areas to it. So why I'm so passionate about it. But Awakening Your Warrior is just about recalling on your past experiences that have made you who you are today. Digging that strength out. And despite the fear, despite Despite the unknown, despite the, is it going to work? I may get judged. I may fail in inverted commas because there's no such thing as failure. I may be uncomfortable, but you know what? I've been through tougher things than this, or I've been through things in the past and I can do this. And it's about digging deep, awakening that warrior. And I definitely see that the not leading from behind, leading from the front has a huge um, thing to do with awakening your warrior. This is why I do th these lives. This is why I send out vulnerable blogs and do posts because I know this is why I listen to audiobooks whilst I'm in the shower. This is why I, as soon as I get five minutes, I'm doing something that's going to ensure that I'm leading from the front. Because as a coach, as someone who is creating a movement, I need to be like in the trenches. I need to be doing the things to show other people that are in the same position that maybe I've been before or aren't comfortable in life, that actually it's safe to keep moving forward. It's uncomfortable, hence why I'm often very vulnerable, but it's okay to do so. You're better to be here than uncomfortable where you are, stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, worried, lost, whatever word you want to call it. Being in your power, vulnerable to it, leading by example is so much better than trying to push anyone forward. Because like I said, in that haunted house, I, I crumbled at one point to bring it back to the haunted house story. It ended up, <laughs> I'll share it because it's a funny ending, but I ended up being pushed to the front by these like fully grown adults. And I was at the front and me and my very good friend, I'm going to call him a very good friend, we walked through and my legs gave way because the fear had got to me so much and I dropped to the floor, grabbed my friend and I got like pushed in the face. I don't know if it was a punch or what, but it ended up a complete mess because my values in my head was I should be protected and I should be led and it just ended up a bit of a free for all. So yeah, that haunted house story, <laughs> it was very funny. We all burst out into this pub at the end, um, being absolutely laughed at. But I'm going to say majority of us either cried, fell to the floor and got punched, peed our pants. <laughs> it was a mess. So um, yeah, have a think. Is there an area in your life where you need to awaken your warrior? You need to dig deep and lead from the front. If so, this is your calling. I do these videos based on like, what do we need? What do I need to share? What do people need to hear? This came to me really, really strong today. So if this resonates with you, take it as a sign. Take it as I'm here for you. You've, you've got this. Do what it takes. For some people, be like, it doesn't really mean anything to me. If so, I've loved connecting with you, but if this is speaking to you, there's a reason that you're hearing this today. Trust that. Um, so yeah, I am going to love you and leave you there. Have a great rest of your evening and um, I look forward to connecting with you next week. So have a great evening. Bye.